Hello coders, this is Jared with Renaissance Coders and today we are going to create a quick demonstration with a Cinemachine dolly camera using a physics sphere, some colliders, and a Cinemachine camera. So let's take a quick look at what we will actually be creating. Okay, so I've got my sphere way up in the sky, it drops down, collides with a platform here that's at an angle and starts to roll. I've got my camera moving down the dolly just following this object back and forth across our scene. So this is a very simple demonstration that we're going to be creating, but it is going to allow us to play with the Cinemachine dolly functionality and get to know a little bit more about Cinemachine moving through this 2017.1 new features series. All right, now let's go ahead and actually get started with this project. I'm gonna go ahead and save my current scene and just create a new one. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of setup. We don't have to do a lot for this. I'm gonna create a new game object that's a 3D object. So I'm just gonna create a plane, zero out the position and update my X scale to five and my Z scale to five as well. Now I also have a couple of materials that I'm going to be using. You don't necessarily have to, be, have to use these yourself, but I find it helpful to just create a little bit of a prettier demonstration. So I've just got a floor material material here. This is just our standard shader material set to opaque with no metallic value or smoothness value and it's just like a darker gray color. Now I'm actually going to create another 3D object that's a cube and again I'm going to zero out the position initially and we're going to really play with the scale with this one so for my X scale I'm going to go with a value of 10. Uh, let's go with 50. 15. For my Y, I'm going to update this to 10 and for my Z, I'm going to go with a value of Let's go with five, see how that looks. And now what I actually wanna do is rotate it on the X a little bit, just to get a pretty good angle. So we could actually go with a negative 45 degree angle here. Okay, so now we actually wanna move it back in the Z. So we're gonna move it back to a negative 25 in the Z. So our sphere will drop down, collide with this, and then slide to the other side. Now we can just very easily select this, duplicate it, and change our Z value to 25, and change our rotation to 45. Now let's go ahead and create our sphere. Again, I'm just going to right click create a 3D object that is a sphere. Go ahead and zero out our position here. And as you can see, that's actually kind of small right now. So I am going to go ahead and double the scale, just enter two for X, Y, and Z, drag it up a little bit. And I'm actually going to go out, drag it way up to, let's go with 90. And I'm going to set a Z value here for negative 24. So what should happen is this ball should fall down collide with this, slide over to the other one, and keep going back and forth until it runs out of momentum. In order to do that though, we are going to need a rigid body. So let's go ahead and add component here. And we're just gonna type in rigid body. And we definitely wanna be sure to use gravity with this. So let's go ahead and actually just play this, see how it looks. So it's dropping, picking up speed as it drops farther. It hits, now it's rotating. And it should collide, slide up a little bit and now it's gonna start going back, very cool. Okay, and I do wanna actually add a material to my, a different material to my sphere, so I'm just gonna select it and I can just drag one over. I've got a red ball here, so now that should be showing up on my sphere, just zoom in. There we go. Very cool. And of course, I can change the colors of these, the materials on these blocks here as well. So I can go with like a blue for these guys. Okay, very cool. Now let's go ahead and actually create our Cinemachine camera and dolly track. So to do that, we're just going to go up to Cinemachine and we're going to create dolly camera with a track. Now, when we create that, it's going to immediately go to the 000 position in our world, which is not really what we want here. If we click on our camera, we can see that it is a 000 and our dolly track is as well. So the first thing we actually want to do here is add a waypoint to our path. And this is actually a button. So you can just click on it and it creates a new waypoint for us, which we can now see in the world. Now I want my dolly to actually start like right over here. So it's going to be looking up at the ball initially and then move with the ball across. So what we can do is change the X position to something like uh, 12, change our Y position to two, and we can set our Z position to like negative 23. Let's see where that's positioned at. That's pretty good positioning. We should be able to just barely catch the ball as it collides and then starts to move. Now let's go ahead and actually add a new waypoint. This is a little bit odd here. So if we actually click this plus icon, it actually increases the position here, which is a little bit strange. So in order to actually, so in order to actually get a new waypoint, what we can do is click on this path details toggle here, and we can click on this plus icon down here. And this gives us a new position. You may notice that when we do this, it ups the X position for us, which we don't really want. So I want it at 12, but I'm going to change the Z position. So right now we're at negative 23 and we're going to end at 23. So I can just set this one at zero. And as you can see, 
see we get this nice little green line showing up for us just showing the actual path and it's actually a little curved right now but that's because it's using a tangent here and we are going to remove that so now let's go ahead and before we remove our tangents let's create our last waypoint so again just plus and we want to end on a z of 23 so there we go and if, again you can see that it is actually curving a little bit but now we can remove our tangent so just set the x to 0 0 and 0 and that will create a fairly straight dolly track for us now one thing I do want to point out is that the dolly track gets a little weird around this middle waypoint here so if we look at this the tracks steps actually get a lot closer through here and we get a little bit of a camera jitter occurring when in those steps and I haven't quite figured out how to get around those but if one of you coders knows how to fix that definitely let me know so we could also what we could also do is remove this middle track here and hopefully it's going to be pretty standard all the way across. I just wanted to show you that these steps don't aren't always equidistant from one another. So even like right now, we can see that it's actually doing an ease in and ease out basically. So the steps are getting closer towards this end and they're closer together at this end. The other thing we can actually do is increase the width of our track. This sort of helps to make it a little more visible for us. And we can also increase the number of steps in our track. So I'm gonna go with like 25 steps. That looks pretty good. Now, the other thing we can actually to do here is if we wanted to have a more curved look we could create tangents but before we do that let's actually go ahead and set everything up and then we can play with that so let's go ahead and click on our Cinemachine camera here and this is actually really easy to set up all we have to do is give it a look at target and we have to give it a follow target as well without a follow target it will not move along the dolly like we want as we can see our camera is now looking up at our ball here so if I click on game mode we can see the cameras preset showing up but I'm not gonna worry about that as much right now so now we're gonna look in some more of our settings we have a body that's set to tracked dolly and it's actually automatically getting our dolly path set up here but the last thing we actually need to do here is actually enable Enable our auto dolly without this enabled I don't think it'll actually follow through on the dolly so let's go ahead and press play on our game mode I'm gonna click off my camera for now just press play and we should see it falling we don't see a lot of action while it's falling like that just that it's getting closer it hits now it's moving and we are getting a little bit of camera jitter here so it should like we got a lot of camera jitter right there now it's coming back so that's probably some settings on the camera that we can actually play with so we could try increasing our space here see if that helps doesn't really seem to be helping much so let's see if we can play with our horizontal dampening a little bit that might help seems to be that's not really helping all that much <laughs> see now the ball is moving really really slowly now we're getting a lot of jitter okay so let's go ahead and actually create a curve track we're gonna try to fix some of the jitter issues as well but let's go ahead and create the curve track as well so to do that we can just go to our path details and we can play with the tangents here now I don't want the cur the track to curve in the Y or really in the Z I primarily want it to curve in the X here and to do that I can just enter a value for our tangent X so when I enter a value of 5 we can see that it starts to curve outward and if I enter a value of 5 for my other one we can see again it's sort of curving out but I may want to go with negative five here so that way we get the same curve going across and we could actually increase this go like negative 10 and or 10 and negative 10 so we get an even greater curve now let's actually increase our steps a little bit more I think that might have something to do with the jitter that was actually occurring and let's go ahead and play this again just see how it looks Okay, there we go. We can see that it's hit. Uh, now we've got a little bit of a cooler angle, but the camera is definitely doing some crazy swooping moves and reacting a little bit strangely. And that's probably because of the way that it's interpreting the dolly positioning. So let's go ahead and look at the scene here and we can see what the camera is actually doing. So now it's rotating and basically what it's going to do is it's going to snap to that next position when it needs to. So it's moving away and it immediately snaps, snaps to that next position. Okay, so let's actually try reducing our steps down. And now we can see that these are basically the steps that it's going to adhere to. I don't think the ball is going to make it back across. So let's try it one more time with the reduced steps. So I'm going to click on my dolly track again, reduce the steps down to four. So that we can see it should be like boom, 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 boom. And actually let's, uh, so that, okay, so that should be fine. We can also click looped here. And what loop will do will actually close the circuit for us. So we can actually go ahead and press play and just see how this functions okay so as we can see our dolly did take the inner track there 
seems to be moving pretty smoothly across and now it's coming back again pretty smooth looks like so that looks like it has actually fixed our issue by dropping the number of steps down so you may want to try that in your game the one thing i'm noticing is that we can't really see that the ball is moving very well when it's in this middle plane so one thing we can do to actually help with that is give it a little bit of a background so i'm just going to create a couple of 3d object cubes zero out the position 0.5 on the y of course and i'm going to drag it back a little bit and we can actually give it a scale in the z of like three and we can just go ahead and duplicate this guy out a couple of times just as like some little spacers to give us a little bit of a background to show the ball actually moving forward okay now let's take a look at it okay here comes our ball it's gonna hit and roll okay so yeah I, I definitely like the way that the background objects help us to sort of give a little more movement to the camera so it looks a, a lot more natural you will notice though that our camera is never actually going on the outer loop here basically what our camera is doing is it's deciding okay I need to be closest to the object as possible okay so let's go ahead and stop that it's definitely pretty cool let's go back to our camera here now we do have several options available to us for dampening so let's go ahead and play it and just see what this actually gives us. Of course, it is actually doing a steps per segment itself inside of the auto dolly here. So let's see what like X dampening and Y dampening do for us. I don't think Y dampening is going to do a lot. Actually, that kind of looks cool the way it's sort of losing the ball. The ball is no longer centered. Just trying to catch up. And there we go. I kind of like the way that actually works out. Of course, we can play with the search radius sum and the steps per segment a little bit more. If I increase the steps per segment there, we can see that it's not actually affecting the steps here. It's just affecting the steps that the camera is taking. So let's actually go back out, go back to our dolly track. We're going to uncheck looped, go back to our camera. And now we've got 45 steps per segment. And let's see if this actually smooths out this curve here of course I can tr increase the steps here back to I think we had it at 35 and let's just see if this helps to smooth things out a little bit okay it's hit it's moving away so yeah it didn't really help a lot as far as uh, the jumps it's definitely less jittery than it was before though it's still performing those jumps pretty rapidly though so right now it's actually going to whoop yeah move really quickly so that's not really what we want. I definitely like the way it looked uh, more when we had fewer steps. So again, I'm going to drop the steps down to, I think I had it at four. There we go. And now we can actually just play it one last time here. Just make sure everything's smoothed out pretty w well here. There we go. It's collided. It's going to move. So yeah, it's definitely moving really quickly on that outward edge. It doesn't really like that outward edge very much. So we definitely have to have looped checked to get that functioning pretty well. Okay, so last time here. I promise. Yeah, I definitely like that. That looks pretty cool. Okay, coders, so that was just a really quick demonstration about how we can incorporate dolly tracks and dolly cameras into our games, as well as just some of the options you have available to you within those new tools in Unity 3D 2017.1. Let us know in the comments below if you're interested in seeing more videos like this one, and we will certainly try to get those videos created for you. You know, like, let us know if you want to see the free look camera or uh, different post-processing effects, things like that, and we can definitely create those videos for you. That is actually going to do it for this video, though. We are going to be releasing more videos covering more of 2017.1 coming up, so definitely be sure to check those videos out, and I look forward to seeing all of you coders in those videos as well. Okay, coders, I hope that you enjoyed that video. We are constantly adding new videos here on YouTube. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It allows us to continue making great content for you coders. And if you are feeling extremely generous, please check out our Patreon account. Here are a few of our other tutorials just in case you want to keep on learning. If you become a patron of Renaissance Coders, you can get access to our source code, and our project files as well. Okay, coders, that's gonna do it for this video. As always, thanks for watching.